at the time of filming, my audience is about 95% Facebook friends. So, I'm sure most of you have already heard me complain at length about me being without a computer at the minute. And therefore, I can't edit things, so I'm not sure why I'm doing this other than complete boredom. I find myself at... This is almost midnight on a Sunday evening with nothing to do. I can't even do coursework. This is how bad it is. But of course, the next logical step is to make some Rice Krispie buns. I have some water being heated in this cooking bucket. And I need to put a bowl on top. Because when we melt chocolate, we do not put it in a pan. Because this is a very bad idea. Also, something to do with separation. Being the tight bastard I am, this is the cheap chocolate. Melt faster! I'm not following any particular recipe. I'm just hoping that like I've been led to believe this is a very simple thing. I don't know, that could be a complete farce. Or have I been misled all these years? Is this a bad time to mention I have never done this before? But I decided to put my very first attempt on the internet so everyone can laugh at me when it goes horribly wrong. My top tip for this is um, eat other food while cooking so you don't eat all the ingredients. It's uh... My logic is flawless. I'm starting to get bubbles in the chocolate which is probably a very very bad thing. So um, I'm going to put the Rice Krispies in. That I have carefully removed the branding from. You will notice that they're not getting the children to colour in the boxes. That That's lazy. Gasly mixing all the Rice Krispies through the melted chocolate to make this lovely chocolatey crispy paste. I have two tablespoons. They don't have to be tablespoons, you can use your imagination here. Just don't use squirrels or anything that might get fur in your dessert. Taking a big old chunk like this, dropping it into the bun cases. Or as I like to call them, bakery straight jackets. Yeah, I think my chocolate to rice crispy ratio is a little on the chocolatey side. But um, that is a wonderful thing. If you're a little un, or like me, suffer from a certain culinary incompetence, make sure you get a grown up to help you. Which is not what I've done here, so do as I say, not as I do. Make sure you get everything out of the bowl, because not bothering is wastage, and that's just not allowed. What I've done is the most basic iteration of the, um, pretending to bake. Of course, you can add sprinkles if you want to. Today, I haven't used any drugs, but you can add them if you do so wish. But, uh, these are gonna go in the fridge overnight, and hopefully they'll be lovely in the morning. I love this thing, it, it is a hammer and a bottle opener, it is a complete men's tool. 